Want an LT Camaro equipped with a V6 2020? Yeah, GM said, oh no, sales are halted. Today's video is brought to you by the 2019 CamaroCon event t-shirt. Check out the link below and see if we have your size in stock today. What's going on guys, Metaver here, Lethal Garage, and today we wanna to talk about a voluntary stop sale that GM has applied to their V6 equipped Camaros. Now, I've been hearing some rumors that some dealerships have halted all sales of their Camaros, but the official word from GM is that they have put a stop sale voluntarily on all V6 equipped Camaros, which would be the LT models, which could be a four cylinder turbo or a V6, but the V6 specifically has a stop sale for emission issues. Now, they haven't said what the emission issues are. We do know that the emissions on the V6 far exceed the requirements of many states, such as California. Uh, but as of right now, if you wanna go buy an LT Camaro with a V6, yeah, no, no dealership will sell you one. They're sitting on the lots. I've even seen some dealerships move the V6s into the back. Uh, I know I went down to my dealership. They have V8s and I4s and ZL1s, which is also a V8, whatever, um, on the lot, but no one knows why or what's going on or why the sales have been halted. They just know that GM has stated sales have been halted for an emissions related issue. So that's a little bit of short news. It's not crazy news, but it's interesting. A lot of people have been comparing Camaro to the Mustang, to the Charger, to the Challenger, etc., in sales. And I don't know how much sales the V6 actually makes up. Um, they usually don't release the finite numbers uh, of model type for a little while, at least not that I have seen. And that being stated, I'd like to think the V6 model makes up a pretty large chunk of sales uh, because of its price point. Um, usually the lower end models fill in a mass majority, mass majority, mass? I can't talk, mass majority of sales. So if they are saying, hey, our V6 models are on hold, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna wanna see the November sales numbers for Camaro, it's not gonna be good. So I guess they could still sell the new LT with the LT1 package, so it's like a V8 LT, uh, which already has a cheaper price point. Maybe this is GM potentially deciding to get rid of the V6 like Mustang did. What was it, a year, maybe two years ago? Uh, it could have been even longer, but Ford killed their V6. So now they just have the EcoBoost and the GT, which is the V8. Maybe they're going down that path. Maybe there's an issue. Maybe, I, I, I don't know, I'm speculating here, guys. I, I just am. But if you guys are out there looking for a V6, uh, LT, uh, which 1LT, 2LT, 3LT can all come with a V6, uh, you're not gonna be able to pick one up. And we don't know for how long, and the true reason why. And I, I doubt GM will actually tell us uh, why in the long run unless they're forced to. So that's that. That's a little bit of new news coming out of GM around Camaro. So uh, expect less sales in November because uh, this has been going on for a week now. So I guess November 1st was the date that it kind of went live and it's still been going. I just found out about it. So maybe you guys already knew and I'm just totally late to the party. Uh, yay. But if you guys didn't know, here you go. Now you do. Until next time, guys, make sure to hit that like, comment, or share. Uh, yeah, all you V6 haters are probably going to leave comments in below and be like, yay, they should be gone anyways. Just know, without that car and without the four-cylinder, you wouldn't have your big bad V8 that you love. Just, just saying. See you guys.